It's me again, Eric at Thompson with another learning journey and our first stop. Here we are, 2717 38th Street, South Minneapolis. Enjoy. My name is Amber Hockadal, and I'm a conservation biologist by trade and education. And I got involved in the zero waste movement in 2016 after discovering that every plastic toothbrush I've ever used in my entire life is sitting in a landfill, not decomposing. And that the average life of a plastic trash bag is 12 minutes, but it takes thousands of years to break down and it breaks down and becomes microplastics, which infiltrate our air, water, and soil. When I first started going zero waste, people were super kind to me about being, um, being what, you know, called the zero waster, but people didn't really know what that was. And there were people who were really supportive, but said like, well, I could never ever do what you're doing. But once I kind of showed them by starting a blog and a YouTube channel and sharing my experience and just saying, hey, instead of shopping where I used to shop, where I could only get stuff in plastic, now I shop at this store, which is a little bit more eco-friendly and they have a bulk section and I can get stuff in paper instead of plastic because plastic isn't recycled. People started thinking, well, that doesn't look that hard. And so it's just a matter of sharing with people in whatever way works for you and really encouraging other people to take that journey with you. I realized there was a, a business need for a zero waste shop in the Twin Cities. So a shop that would provide those people with products, um, education in a community in order to really live more sustainably and move towards that zero waste lifestyle. So I started Terra Market um, with really that mission in mind to bring sustainable living to the Twin Cities and make it accessible to everyone. So Terra Market is currently one brick and mortar store and we also have an online presence. We're located in South Minneapolis in the Sena neighborhood area. In our store, we have found that our customers really need those everyday products that they find in their home that create waste that they just want a replacement for. Our products center around the cleaning, health and beauty, travel and family kind of categories. After starting Terra Market and really polling our community about what they needed, people said, we really need bulk food. The co-ops in town are fantastic, but they don't fill all of our needs. They don't have these products. And so we decided to bring in 135 shelf stable bulk food items. So we have coffee, tea, rice, beans, granolas, things like that. So people can also bring all their own containers from home to refill all those items as well. Our mission is to fight climate change by providing people with access to package-free and plastic-free goods. And we also do everything we can to encourage our consumer to really understand how the zero waste lifestyle can work best for them and their family. So the very first thing I always do when anyone comes into the store and says, how can I live a little bit more sustainably? Is I always tell them to conduct a trash audit in their own home. So that is physically looking at what their family throws away and what they put in their recycling bin and really seeing, okay, am I throwing away 80% food packaging? Am I throwing away 30% food? And how could, what can I do and how can I make those actions to maybe just take one step towards that big percentage of what I'm throwing away. So right now what we're seeing is that the average American throws away 5.4 pounds of trash every single day. So imagine you have an average family of 4.2 people and you multiply that by the amount of trash that everyone throws away every day. And then you multiply that by seven and then you multiply that by 52. And you think about in just one year, how much trash your family alone produces. Then think about your street, then think about your city, then think about your state and how much waste that is. And it is a ton of waste. Zero waste is really looking at your whole life, trying to do what you can to eliminate anything you would throw in your trash. Some people also think about their recycling. As I've learned throughout this process, recycling is a has a huge environmental and carbon footprint. 
And so a lot of people will also loop into the zero waste movement, the idea of also eliminating your recycling. So you're not throwing anything in your trash can. You're not throwing anything in your recycling. Everything has a circular lifestyle. So you're either reusing it, repairing it. You're finding creative ways to reuse it time and time again. I personally believe as a business owner, I have a socially minded business and I'm going to do everything I can to achieve my mission, which is to fight climate change by providing people with access to plastic free and package free goods. Now, I understand not all businesses have a social mission, but I do feel that as citizens of this world and of this environment, if we are all going to continue living and working and breathing the way we are, we all need to make simple swaps to live a little bit more green. So that might mean big corporations donating to causes that are on the ground planting trees. It might mean um, reaching into communities to support food shelves or offering non-traditional products in their space so that people who do wanna live more sustainably can purchase them there. And I just think our end goal as a, a global community should be the same. And that's to really live a little bit more sustainably so that we can continue to exist on this planet. So I think every, corporation, every business, every person can play a really important role in achieving that.